All right, all right. Welcome back to Eyes Open Media. Prophet John here. Hope you guys are doing well. It's election day. And uh, I wanted to talk to you guys about Biden and, and Harris and um, the secret plan of the uh, cabal. Just in case you missed it, um, Hank Kuhneman did talk about this uh, secret plan in, in, in the video that I, 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 put, I put up um, a couple days ago about his election prophecy and things like that. So uh, if you missed that video, then um, you'll catch it here, okay? So I want to talk about it because... They, they do have a secret plan and um you know uh and so let's talk let's talk about the plan well number one joe biden the fact that joe they, they the fact that they allowed joe biden to stay the whole way even though many of us were seeing him being removed we were getting intel of him being removed um you know for for somebody like oprah winfrey or other people coming in and the fact that they didn't they did. They couldn't pull the trigger to remove him. Um, you know, it is what it is. So they they have created a new plan for for him for for Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. Okay, they understand and see what we all see on Joe Biden. His mind is basically gone. Um, he makes he says a lot of dumb things. Um, he can't remember a lot of things. So there's something mentally gone from him. It's old age, right? He's he's aging and things like that. Um, and he's not really fit to be president um, with, with his mental capacity, mental state. And they, they know that. They see that, right? Also, for me personally, I believe that he's he's cloned, and that's why you're seeing a lot of these um, these these mental errors and things because of the cloning. Um, you know, the real Joe Biden is probably not this way. The real Joe Biden can probably still think clearly, speak clearly, but you, you don't get to see him. You get to see the, the, the clones um, and the clones have to be white. They have to have wires to be able to know what, what to say and things like that. Um, you know, and uh, that's why we, we saw the first debate. He had wires going through him um, just so that he can be able to know what to say. So. Um, you know, so the liberals understand what they have to do just to keep this man uh, from saying dumb stuff and, and and embarrassing them. So, in my opinion, you know, well, not my opinion. Mark Mark uh, Hank Kuhneman already said the per, the uh, the prophecy about it. So the prophet the, the plan was the the cabal plan was to um, win the elections for Biden and and Kamala Harris win the election and then remove Joe Biden, all right? So remove the Joe Biden. And this is why I like this picture because he's turned, his back is turned against America and she's facing him like she's about to step in to replace him for America, right? So his back is turned to us like like it's over for him and he knows it. It looks like he, almost looks like he's crying here, but of course he's smiling here, but but it almost looks like he's crying, like it's over for him. Like he knows it's over for him. And then she's smiling, like, I'm I'm next in line. I'm about to come and be the president. Right? So that's that that was that's their secret plan. If Joe Biden wins the election, he's not gonna be in there for long at all. He's not even gonna I don't even think he makes it to the end of the year because Hank Kuhneman's prophetic word was that uh, he saw um, you know, their plan and their plan was to, to have to win the elections and then remove Joe Biden, um, you know, at, at, in, in any way, shape or form. So they could it could be a fake assassination. It could be um, whatever it is, whatever, whatever they chose. It could be health problems. It could be um, Hunter Biden issues. Um, it could that he has to step down or criminal cases. He could be arrested. It could be anything. Right. Um, or he could just pass away, you know, um, you know, they could force him to pass away and then send the real Joe Biden off to the eye to Jeff Dean, uh, you know, the Jeff Dean islands or the Illuminati islands. And, but the, the plan is to get this woman, you know, into the presidency. All right. And because they want to, they want to, in January, the plan is to remove him, get her into the presidency by before January because January they want to and they want to activate the great reset okay they want to activate the great reset and they don't want to do it with a man well, you know what I mean because they don't want to embarrass Joe Biden that way they they rather do it with a colored woman right they rather do it with a bronze woman right so 
You know, they, you know, they, they want to do it with a woman regardless, right? Even if it's with Elizabeth Warren, they would do the same thing. They want a woman in positions where they destroy things. It's just, that's just how it is in the, in the, in the, uh, in the coding and, and, and it is in the Illuminati, right? In, in the cabal, they, they use women to take down countries, take down systems, take down companies. Okay. That's just what they do. And we all know that we can go back in history and see how they put women in power positions and then destroy the countries and the companies and things like that. All right. Um, okay. So they want to put her in this position as the first, you know, president, uh, woman president. And then, and then they want to in January and activate the great reset and, uh, go cashless force every country around the world to go cashless even if they're not ready to go cashless and it will destroy every economy in the world that's what that's their plan this is why central banks are buying gold and so and silver and precious metals and things like that uh to prepare just in case they actually pull this off right they have to win the elections first so they win the elections they want to get rid of this guy joe biden um, you know, before the end of the year, put her in the president position and then activate the Great Reset in January. Now, Donald Trump made a statement, made, made an announcement about January and that he had his plan with the new elites um, for what he wanted to do in January. So now the cabal have their plan of what they want to do in January. So both something is going to happen in January regardless. So it's either going to be the Great Reset or is, or is it going to be Donald Trump's um, reset or whatever Donald Trump was planning on doing with world leaders? So Donald Trump and his new and his world leaders um, and new elite leaders uh, were going to do something in January um, for some type of even playing field. Maybe it's the reset. Maybe it's the uh, global currency reset. Maybe it's a digital reset. Maybe I don't know what it's going to be. But their plan is the Great Reset, which is um, going ca completely cashless, removing cash, fiat dollars, um, you know, from existence and going completely digital. This gives them full control over the entire world. They can track everything you do. Um, and many countries are not prepared to go cashless right now, but they will force every country to go cashless in the Great Reset. And you won't be able to use cash under under the Great Reset. They will ban cash immediately. So guess what? If you're part of the um, the Iraqi dinar and all the Vietnamese uh, currency uh, stuff, if you're part of if you have um, invested in that, it, that will be over. Okay, under their plan. So that's why it's it, it, it's uh, laughable when people in the dinar community are. Um, are, are telling us to vote for these clowns, okay? So it's laughable, <laughs> all right? So uh, it's already been seen in visions. It's already been prophesied by Hank Kuhneman as well. And it's already been told to us by Christine Lagarde and all of the uh, people uh, in the uh, IMF and, and, uh, and the European Union and the cabal have already spoke about it. We've already done videos on the Great Reset, so you can't say we're, not, we're making it up because there's tons of videos on the Great Reset. Matter of fact, they, hold, they held a, um, a uh, virtual um, conference on the Great Reset, right? And so we know that they're going to go cashless completely. They're going to completely go cashless. And so they won't be a reset of currencies, which will bring a wealth transfer. They're trying to stop that, right? Because they want to rise the Antichrist system. All right. So the, so that's what that's their plan. Their plan is to is, is in January is to uh, go digital. OK, um, complete digital digital re, uh, forcing fiat money to be removed um, and everybody goes digital and uh, that enables them to be able to track everywhere we do everything we do. Um, no freedoms, right? Freedoms will be stripped immediately, right? As they as they enter into the new world order system, and um, that's that's where we're going if they win, right? So they're gonna take him out, and they're gonna put somebody younger in there, and and somebody that does not give a crap, because she, if you guys know her personally from California, for you people that live in California, 
You know her attitude. You know that she don't give a crap. She can't stand her own her own color. She hates the bronze people. She can't stand the bronze. She does. She can't stand a lot of people. If you're not rich and white, <laughs> basically, she can't stand you, right? I mean, she 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 had people locked up in prison past their time. Like it was time for them to get out, and she would literally force them to stay in another month or two or three or six months or even a year longer for free labor. This is why she didn't even win California in the Democratic primaries. That's unheard of. That's unheard of that a vice president is in this position that didn't even win her own state. So you you that should tell you everything you need to know about this woman. Okay, people put people literally created um, um, uh, collages and murals about all the people she kept in prison longer. She loves mass incarceration. Her family um, used to own slaves, so it's in her blood. It's in her blood to 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 just um, you know use people as slaves. I mean, this is just this is it's just crazy, man. It's crazy. And then you got African American people out here talking about. Um, I did my research on Kamala Harris, and she's a great person. Well, then why didn't she win California if she's such a great person? Why did the African-American ADUS people bankrupt her in her, Democra in her Democratic nom nominee run if she's such a great person? Why is everybody called talking about so bad about her and her personality and who she is if, if she's such a great person? So it's just ridiculous. People, people will literally say whatever they want to do just so that their party wins. So we gotta understand that, okay? We gotta understand that people will literally sell out just so that their party wins. They will flat out lie just so their party wins. With, you know what I mean? So this is what's going on. And that's the, um, that's the, that's the secret that they, that they are hiding. Um, they're not really hiding it because they talked about the Great Reset. They're, they're telling us the Great Reset is coming. Um, and then they keep mentioning Kamala Harris as the president of the United States every time they mention her. They've done it several times, okay? And it's for, and people are like, wait a minute, she's the vice president. And no, she's the president. So so they're doing that on purpose to let you know that, that that's their plan. Their plan is to remove Joe Biden out of there immediately once he wins the presidency, okay? And then put her in that position and get her ready for the Great Reset and and uh, where they go cashless um and they and they uh, remove cash from society around the world countries would absolutely collapse economically because they're not ready for the for to, to go fully digital or the people don't want it will not accept going fully digital so it would be chaos everywhere in the world and complete collapse in economies and they will then take over they will then introduce the new world order and they will rise the Antichrist up. Okay, I don't know who the Antichrist is, but they will rise the Antichrist in the complete chaos of going into a fully digital um, currency or, or one world order currency. They will introduce the one world, I guess the digital dollar may, might be the one world order currency. I don't know what's gonna be. Um, but they'll go digital. You can't use fiat anymore. That's why God's people are gonna have to use the gold and silver, okay? Um, but uh, it would be complete darkness over the world as economies collapse overnight because they they don't they're not prepared for digital to go fully digital, right? And so uh, and then they'll bring out the the one world currency and the one world order, the one world government. And then they will bring out, and then they will rise the Antichrist uh, to stop, uh, to be able to, to um, you know, stop the uh, all of the uh, confusion and and chaos around the globe. He will be the one to fix the problems, right? He will he will rise out of nowhere, and he will fix the problems of the um, of the systems that have collapsed. All right, so that's that's the plan of, of these liberals. Um, and, uh, it's sickening. It's, uh, but this is who they are. And, um, you know, the, how many, I don't know how much they, I mean, these people will literally, 
these people will literally kill you, uh, kill somebody in, in, in live television, and you will, and, and people will still say, "I'm still voting Democrat." I mean, it's, it's unbelievable. I mean, these people, these people have shown you who they are, you know, through signs and symbols and agendas, and people still do not care. And people will literally walk into hell with these people, <laughs> with with this, with this party. So it is what it is, man. I mean, I mean, we we can't we can't prophesy any more than we have prophesied. We can't see any more visions than we have seen. You know, people can't express uh, and show the symbols as much as they have shown. It doesn't matter to millions of people out there. It doesn't matter. They're still voting Democrat. And so it doesn't nothing we there's nothing we can do. Okay. So we're just gonna have to wait in for the um election poll and uh see what happens. All right, but that's their secret plan is to remove Joe Biden. If the, if he wins, they will they will remove Joe Biden and then she will step in by January, she will be president and they will launch the great reset and our lives will be completely over. <laughs> You know, because we will, we will, uh, we will not be able to use cash. Uh, some of, a lot of us don't have much gold and silver yet. Okay, you're still accumulating it, but it'll be too late by then. Um, and uh, a lot of us don't even are not even in the safe havens yet. We're not even in safety. We're still in this. Many of you guys are still living in the cities and 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 and, and areas, right? Cities and 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 places that are populated. So. You're not out to the the um, country or places that don't are not populated. You don't have uh, protection uh, around you and things like that. So um, it, it's it's too early for this, right? It's too early for this because God's people are not ready and prepared for this. So this would be this will catch us off guard, and 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 the devil knows that, right? So the the devil is hoping that they win because then his plan will come about the great reset. Removing Joe Biden, letting this woman that doesn't give a crap about anybody, okay, um, get in there and and then launch the Great Reset and uh, crush economies all around the world and um, and go cashless and then go to a one world one currency one world currency one world government and uh, and then one world religion and and then bring out the uh, Antichrist uh, will rise. Of the Antichrist. All right, so that's their plan. And Hank Kuhneman prophesied that in the video that I put I put on there. If you guys want to go back and see that video, you can. But that's why they keep bringing this Great Reset, the Great Reset, the Great Reset. They've been pushing it all year, and now they've been pushing it the last few weeks now. And I did make a video saying that there's a difference between the Great Reset and the Global Currency Reset or the Global Reset. Um, uh, there's a there's a big difference between the two. Okay, uh, and if we get and if they win and we get and they push the great reset, well, guess what happens to your investments? They're they're literally down the tubes. Okay, <laughs> um, and they will not honor. Uh, do you think these people will honor your your uh, Racky Dinar exchange? Like, hey, Miss, Mrs. Kamala, um, um, President Kamala, um, um, we we have the dinar, uh, you know, fiat and the Vietnamese dong. Can you honor that at the exchange? Even though you, everything's digital, she probably tell you to shut shut up and go go to H E L L. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So this is this is not what we want at all. So you guys um, that are eligible to vote, you better get your butts out there and stand in line, and 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 vote uh, vote Donald Trump in there because. Uh, they they got they got a lot of plans uh, to destroy economies worldwide. Not just that, you not not just to destroy economies, but to tear the you know they're gonna they they'll tear the wall down and they will flood a hundred million illegals in and then we'll be under a civil war, right? So not only are we gonna deal with a, a crashing economy, not only are we gonna deal with sixty percent tax t taxes, not only are we gonna deal with flooding of illegals into our country. <laughs> we're also going to have to deal with a, a civil war, right? And race war, civil war, and all the other things that are going to come about uh, under these two. I mean, it's going to be complete carnage, mayhem, new world order, um, and uh, it's going to be that's going to be darkness and judgment for for disobeying, um, you know, God. You know, God. God has shown us. He's shown all the prophets around the world that Donald Trump. We must vote Donald Trump in, and Donald Trump must continue. For his agenda, for his for God's plan, 
And if we disobey him and we and and uh, the the church and everybody else votes these people in, well then we get what we deserve. <laughs> okay? And um it is what it is. All right. Uh peace out. God bless eyes open and let's see what happens today. All right. I'll be back later. We'll be doing the uh prayer, the day 3 prayer uh later today and um we'll see what happens. Peace out. God bless. Bye. Eyes open.